Master of Studio gave to me ten lords a leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids a milking, seven swamps a swimming, six geese a laying, five gold rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Lee and Jeremy want to wish you all a happy holidays and a wonderful new year! Hi guys! Hello! And welcome to another episode of Massey, Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios! I'm Jeremy. And I'm Elf Lee. And this is the 10th day of Christmas. It it's is. It's so crazy. It's getting so close to oh like Christmas Day. You can almost smell the mulled wine. Oh my gosh. I feel mulled wine. I don't, I've never had mulled wine I like before. Mulled wine. Yeah, it's you mulled. do? I've yeah. never had it. Today's episode is going to be really cool. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it. And uh, I hope you like a lot of paint. Yes, because uh, for 10 days of Christmas, 10 Lords are leaping, uh -huh. right? We are going to be doing 10 colors. 10, sorry, not yeah. 10 colors, 10 colors. 10 colors, both hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so this one was really interesting for us because um, we really wanted to use 10 colors. So yeah. we picked 10 different type of colors and we'll be using them in different ways. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be so interesting to see what happens with these. Right. 10 colors is a lot to like use on a canvas, but I'm excited. How, what I'm are you, so hyped up about it. What are you gonna do with your 10 colors? That's a great question. I think I'm going to do a straight pour. Yeah? Yeah. That, that's really interesting and I'm really excited to see how those colors all interact. Yeah. I'm going to do a split cup ring pour into the dustpan with my wow. 10 colors. Wow. So two very different techniques, but still using exactly yeah. the same colors. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm interested. Yeah. I'm excited to see what I'm happens. I'm excited to see what happens. If you haven't already, guys, please like and subscribe. It means the world to us. We love it. Uh, we love having you here. And why don't we get to painting? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get let's to pouring. Hey guys, it is Jeremy here, and I am ready to introduce all the colors to you before we get started. Um, we're gonna start from right here and work our way forward. Mm -hmm. We have the Arteza Silver. We have the Aztec Gold here by Arteza. Shaka, there's some gold Shaka. in this pool. <laughs> we have the, this is a permanent green deep that's right here. And that's in Amsterdam. It's in Amsterdam. We have Amsterdam Turquoise Blue. Love it. We have Amsterdam Nickel Titan Yellow, which is this one right here. We've never used that one before. I know, it looks really cool. Um, we have Amsterdam King's Blue, which is this one right here. I love that color. I know, right? Reminds me of a brighter gray, grayish blue. It's really nice. We have Amsterdam Ultramarine Violet. Love it. Whoops. We have Amsterdam Primary Magenta, mm -hmm. which is usually a problem child. <laughs> and then we have Deep Violet by Liquitex Basics. Love it. And then we have Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple, which uh, I love. I love how you said the magenta was a problem child, but we've got 10 colors. <laughs> that, that might be the actual problem, but we'll see. We'll see, we'll see. So um, you're gonna do a what pour? I am gonna be doing a layered cup uh -huh. straight pour. Fantastic. Yeah. So, so let's bring your canvas in, let's flood it, and then you can start pouring. Yes, why don't we do that? Excellent. All right, guys, I got my canvas flooded and I am ready to layer my cup. And what color is that? Um, or sorry, whose is that black? This is Blick Black, which we are affiliate of. If you need any paints, just follow the link in our description box and you can get your paints there. That's it, that's awesome. Yes. Thank you, sir. You're very Blick welcome. Blick Black Plaid Paddy Wag. <laughs> <laughs> so let's get to layering my cup. Okay. I am so intrigued how you're gonna layer 10 colors in this cup because I'm not 100% sure myself. 
Mm. Go for it. I am going to go for it. Good call on a metallic. I think that definitely would have been one of my first calls. That was the violet. Yeah, the deep violet. Mm -hmm. Ooh, magenta. I don't want to use a whole lot of that. Let's go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. I forgot what that one was called. Permanent Red Violet. King's Blue was that, I think? You just said that one, I can't remember. No, that one was oh. King's Blue. Yellow. That'll make a lovely shade of green. Wow, that's one of each of the ten colours in your mug. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right, so I gotta do another layer, right? I guess. For those ten lords are leaping. This one next. Then I did this one. Then I did this one. Blue? Turquoise? Yeah, turquoise. What do you call that, Stefan? Um, Yellow. Oh, I forgot to put the silver. That's what I forgot to put. Well, you don't have, you don't have to layer identically. You're taking a very big risk by doing such thin layers considering there's so many colors. I'm liking it. I know your middle name is Danger. You know my middle name is Danger. Mm -hmm. I'm getting really risky now. No, this is gonna matter, but. All right, I think I have enough paint. Yeah? Yeah. You good? I'm good. Okay. All right, guys, I got my layered cup here, all cute and things. And um, I'm going to just do a straight pour right here. Let's right here, see, right now. Right here, right now, let's see what happens. That was a chunk that just fell on there. Did you see that? I did see that chunk. All right, I'm gonna have to stretch this out and see where that chunk went. <laughs> All right, I'm going to torch real quick. Pop some bubbles. Popping bottles. Popping bottles. How does that song go? Yeah, I'm not gonna attempt that. Oh, my G6. That's right. All right. All right, let's, I, I'm really interested to see how this is gonna I go. I think everyone is interested so, to see how this is gonna right, go. let's do this. What is it? 
Okay. It's tilting time. It is tilting time. Tilting time. Now let me just move a couple of these out of your way, right, just in see. case. Let's start tilting. All right, I'm digging it. It was it came out so much different than what I was like thinking that it would in my mind. And um, yeah, I can totally see the drummers drumming. You can? I can totally okay, well, see that's drummers good. drumming. Okay, <laughs> so you finished tilting? I am, Phil, I have finished tilting. Uh, I'm going to um, torch it. And I think I see something in there. If it's not a bubble, then I'm gonna have to tweeze it out. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and take care of my edges. I'm going to see if that's something in my paint right there. Um, torch it and take you guys in for a close up. Perfect, let's do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is Elf 
Lee with my 10 colors also. Just saw Jeremy do a really interesting, beautiful straight cup. What am I gonna do? Well, I'm gonna use not one, but two implements. I'm gonna ring into a dustpan onto lay canvas. So let's get first off to layering this big whole cup. Now this is a cup with four chambers. It's the only four chamber cup I've got. So I'm gonna be using this one first. Now I have organized my colors in the way that I do want to use them. So first off in with this delicious color. And instead of like multiple layers, I'm just gonna do layers of three. And then I'm gonna to top this off with some gold. And then some of the magenta, because we're mad. And then in with the turquoise. Top that off with some silver and then in with the green. Okay, next permanent deep, is it deep permanent something? And I'm gonna put gold on top of that one. And on top of the gold, I'm going to put this yellow because there was nowhere else to put it and I was really struggling deciding where to put that yellow. Then finally in this chamber here with the blue, in with the silver. I had a problem with the green. Really? Mm -hmm. I knew how to layer all the other ones when I was doing my cup. I just got nervous about the green. And That's where to put it. crazy. Okay, so I have one layered cup. We're going to see how this works. So, next, taking Donald, I have to go like this. Okay. So next, taking Donald, I'm gonna pour some gold in the bottom of my dustpan, because I'll be ringing on top of that. Now, to take this humongous split cup, and let's ring into the pan. I apologize if my hand was over that for three quarters of the time. I'm fairly confident it was. Um, now we're gonna transfer this ring from the dustpan onto the canvas. And how am I gonna do it? What am I gonna do? Am I gonna, I'm just gonna go straight from left to right. Yeah, I believe I am. Okay, let me move some of these colors out of the way just in case. I'm going to bop them as I come down the canvas. I'm going to take my silver this time and pour a little bit of silver just over the edge of this lip. It's a rubber lip, and so I just want to make sure that the paints flow. So, Jeremy, I'm going to start here, and we're going to pour these colours onto the canvas. Let's do it.
All right. All right then, let's see. And I intentionally did like little backwards motions with the pan just to see if that would give me a really interesting composition as I stretch this one out. Because now, I'm sure you all know what time it is. It's actually about 8.30 in the evening, but here in the studio, it's tilting time. It's tilting time. Let's do this. And I also intentionally poured the blue on this side because I'm gonna tip some of it off because I feel like there was a lot of blue coming out at the end of that pour. So let's take off some of this blue. I'm gonna take it off as much as the squiggle. Okay, now let's go back. I wanna make sure that the back of the canvas has paint so as not to stretch the black down the canvas from behind. But I don't really wanna lose any of the paint on this side. The weight of the paint is definitely on the right hand side of the canvas. Okay, I see that I've now lost that black at the back. All right, now let's take this down the canvas. go down. Let's see what happens. Okay, I realized my mistake immediately. I wonder if I have any more black. I do. All right, let me fix this. Let's come back on ourselves. Yeah, I like it, I like it. I just, I was, I realized I'd stretched out that purple, that whatever it was, far too far. And then as soon as I was gonna start bringing it back, it was, it was just not gonna, yeah. it was just not gonna stretch. And I really want this to close up.
I wonder. I actually intentionally did that little like divot. I know. I saw that. I like it. All right, that is me done. You saw me fiddle and fuss with that one. I took it all the way to the end of the of the canvas and then realized that I'd stretched out some parts of it way too thin. So went back over it with black, brought it back down, created my kind of composition on here. I love all this blue area here and you can definitely see all the colors like in within the layers. I like it. I think to me it's super interesting and I'm really interested to see how this one dries. I'm gonna take my torch to it right now pop any air bubbles that I can, might see just underneath the surface of the paint, and then I'll take a popsicle stick around all my edges just to make sure that everything has been covered. And then Jeremy's gonna take me in for a close-up. Yep. Let's do it. Let's do it. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, people. Yeah. Christmas cardio. Yep. <laughs> so there you have it, guys. There you have it. Yes. Episode 10. Uh huh. Lords of Leaping. Exactly. Yeah. So um, how did you enjoy that? I was very petrified about using <laughs> 10 colors in any Me pour. Too. Me too. Because that's not really kind of what you should do, I guess. You know, like there seems to be a need for colors to go better together than just yes. throw them in a port. But that being said, I actually really enjoyed what we got out of it. Um, I love using my dustpan and the split plug cup, so I was really happy with my piece. What, yeah. what about you? I liked mine. Yeah? I liked mine a lot, yeah. Did you really like it a lot, or are you saying that? No, I liked the dried results. Okay. Like, I was very iffy about it at first, and I have learned to kind of calm down and take a deep breath right. and see what happens when it dries because when it dries, it can look like a totally, completely different piece. And I think in this case, yours does. It does. Right. Do you it want, really does. Why don't you show them? All right. Show oh, them sure. your dried results. This is how I see it. In that direction. In this direction. Okay. Huh, yeah. It's funny, like if you asked me how many colors there are in that painting, I would say four. You know, there's, there's a lot of teal, there's some purple, there's some gold, and I see some magenta, but then when you look really closely, you see the purples, I see the yellow, and I see the shades of green, as well as the teals. So it's all there. It's all there. Yeah. I like crazy. it. Yeah, and I love, that, so I love that you kept that kind of really funky middle of it. I think it looks really good. Um, same with mine. I don't think you look at this and think, oh my gosh, there's like 10 colors in there. Yeah. Mine's still a little damp as you can see up in the top, but 
that's mine. So I kept the negative space of it up at the top. And then you can see all the teals and the purples and the yellows and the greens in the bottom. It looks like a topography picture of like Arizona or certain or like New Mexico. It's like the, the lines. We always say that when we get when we create these <laughs> lines. Because it does it because it's the lines, you know. It looks it looks so I think it looks really good. I think it looks really alien. It does look really alien. Yeah, but I really like I actually do really enjoy it. And I love using the, the split colours. Yeah. <laughs> Face hugger. I love using the split colours and I love using the dustpan. So mm. I'm happy. Yeah. So there's the dried results, guys. There's the dried results? Yes. I hope you guys liked it. Uh, please comment. Uh, we read all of those. Right. Um, we answer them back and uh, we love to get them. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. It means the world to us. And uh, yeah, I think that's. That about wraps it up. All right, join us for the yeah. next episode and it's number 11. Number 11. Those pipers piping. Pipers piping, right. which is a very interesting, it's gonna be a very interesting episode. Yeah, we have some ideas on this one. We do have some ideas on them. We'll show you tomorrow. Yeah. All right guys, thank you so much. We'll see you at five o'clock tomorrow. Bye guys. Bye. Okay guys, so we wanted to take a moment to thank some very, very special people and that's the guys that have joined our Patreon account. What that is, if you don't know, is the opportunity to join at different tiered levels to get different perks from the Massey Art Studio. And they go from sneak peek pictures to a level with videos exclusively just for those pourers yep. to live streams and tutorials all the way up to the diamond level where you get to choose the colors for an episode that we yep. put on YouTube. And then you get a canvas that we paint for you on the channel on 11 yes. by 14. So with that said, we've got some people that we really want to thank. At the gold level, we've got Jane Klein, Trisha West, Janice Pittman, and Janice Swansea. Mm. At our platinum level, we've got Leslie Beaver. Yay. And our diamond pourer, part of our Massey Posse, our diamond MP, is Laurie, AKA Sparkles. Sparkles. So thank you guys for wanting to take an extra special look at the studio and supporting us. We appreciate you so very much.